Hello, I'm Representative Melanie Stambaugh. I believe ethics are important, especially in the political arena. The Legislative Ethics Board has a standard that they use to determine whether a legislator's action falls under normal and regular legislative activity. This is important because normal and regular activity, work by a legislator done as part of their duty to their constituents, is exempt from RCW 4252-180. This standard is used to guide proper communication with constituents about government action, my work done on your behalf. The four-pronged test includes proximity to election, reference to legislative issues, reference to voting, and the tone and tenor of the communication. So, how do my legislative video updates and legislative photos shared on my public Facebook page compare to this test? Let's take a look. The first prong is proximity to election, and on the boards behind you, you will see the dates that I shared legislative videos and legislative photos. The first image was on December 19th, 2014. This occurred 25 days before I was sworn into office and 593 days before the August 2016 primary election. The last material that I shared was a photo on March 14th, 2016. This occurred 142 days before the primary election. Now the legislative freeze is where new legislative materials cannot be posted after June 30th. I shared no materials after this date. It is clear that these legislative postings were not in close proximity to an election. The second prong is relevance to legislative issues. The legislative video updates posted on my public Facebook page contained information about bills moving through the legislature, budget negotiations, and votes that I took on the House floor. The videos invited my constituents to call and also visit the Capitol to share their perspective on bills moving through the House and the Senate. The legislative photos shared on my Facebook page covered action of our government. Fourteen of these photos were of members of our community visiting the Capitol, like students from Spinning Elementary School learning how legislators vote on the House floor and the 2015 and 2016 Daffodil Festival Royal Court touring the state capitol, taking a photo with the governor, being honored on the Senate floor, and speaking to their Pierce County representatives over lunch. Eleven of these photos were of legislative action, like speaking on the House floor in support of a bill that benefits our community, or the governor signing a bill into law. These legislative materials solely reference legislative issues. The third prong is reference to voting. None of these legislative video updates or legislative photos reference voting in any way. None of them have campaign signs, none of them ask for votes, and none of them ask for donations. Finally, the fourth prong is the tone and tenor of the communication. The legislative video updates were informative in nature. They showed how the process of, of a bill becomes a law, they showed and shared information about budget proposals. They invited community members to provide their input on bills that were coming before the legislature. And the use of these videos and photos was approved by the legislature. These legislative materials were posted by the state onto YouTube.com as well as Flickr.com. My legislative videos and photos pass the four-prong test. These communications are part of normal and regular legislative conduct. That is why more than 30 other legislators have shared the same material with their constituents in the same way. The Legislative Ethics Board is saying that public records shared from publicly available YouTube and Flickr can be utilized by the public, but not by citizen legislators, whose job it is to inform their constituents. The Legislative Ethics Board is saying that legislative materials shared more than 140 days before an election were posted to support my re-election campaign. The Legislative Ethics Board is saying that 25 legislative photos, a quarter of which I am not even in, were posted to benefit my campaign. The Legislative Ethics Board is wrong. These did not benefit my campaign. The Legislative Ethics Board is overreaching their authority to dictate how legislators communicate with their constituents. The Legislative Ethics Board is not honoring the normal and regular duties of being a legislator, the duty to inform their constituents of government action. 
It is time to remind the Legislative Ethics Board that a duty of a legislator is to keep their constituents informed. Contact the Legislative Ethics Board and tell them to follow the standards set in their own ethics manual. Tell the Legislative Ethics Board to dismiss these complaints and remind them that this is our government. Make your voice heard. Information is ethical.